What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights to the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm and do not forget to subscribe. So absolutely wild day in the markets today. We got discount after discount after discount. We got a lot of new investors panicking, people you know afraid of what's going on, but I'm gonna be honest with you. We might not see these types of prices for a while of course the market can you know obviously pull back even further but this is an opportunity of a lifetime for a lot of people for some this is the first time you know i'm talking with people in my group inside my private investment community and whatnot and this is the first time people are able to not not saying the first time but for some people to be able to purchase an entire bitcoin you know we just seen bitcoin drop down to fifteen thousand dollars today that was an absolute steal hopefully you know uh y'all connected some dots right there y'all already know what i would tell y'all to do when we see these types of discounts and now this is never financial advice you know you got to always remember that you got to do your own due diligence you never put yourself in a tough situation so also dollar cost average into some positions but speaking on this note of bitcoin let's let's take a clo closer look at bitcoin we seen bitcoin drop today get a closer look in this was absolutely wild we seen bitcoin go all the way down to 1569 i think uh i was able to get in like somewhere right around just as right before it went back to the 16s so I was really happy about that buy. Once I seen I got my, uh, I had my alert set. Once I seen 15,000, I already knew it was time to jump on that. So uh, hopefully y'all are not afraid when y'all see these price fluctuations in the market. You just take a step back, look at what's going on in the market. Like if we take a, a look, let's we'll search crypto for today. We'll see a lot of people talking about FTX. See, here we go. Could FTX collapse signal even tougher times for crypto? Binance backs out of FTX rescue. And remember, we were talking about CZ, the CEO of Binance, uh, talking about he might purchase FTX basically to bail them out yesterday. So we look, it looks like he uh, actually stepped back from that deal. So let's take a closer look at this article real quick. So uh, key points, Binance is backing out of its plan to acquire FTX, the company said Wednesday. The issues are beyond our control or ability to help, Binance said in a tweet. FTX, which was value, valued at $32 billion earlier this year, is now in jeopardy of collapsing. So most likely we're going to see it collapse, just like we've seen all these other exchanges begin to collapse. Uh, what was that? Around June, uh, Three Arrows Capital, the, what we've seen take place with Link and UST, uh, with uh, Doquan. You know, this is looks like it's repeating itself. You know, uh, FTX stepped in to bail those companies out. And, you know, I was talking with one of my friends earlier and... You know, it's like, why would they do that if they knew what type of situation they would put themselves in? And most likely, you know, this is a side note. It looks like, you know, they were attempting to prop that company up or basically keep them afloat. So that way it didn't really uh, crash them as quickly. But now we see that, you know, no, no matter what, basically putting a bandaid on it did not work because now FTX is basically going into bankruptcy. So, uh, you know, this is something you really want to be careful on. Remember when I told y'all to be careful with these uh, exchanges. Don't just trust these exchanges with everything. It's best to store your crypto on a cold wallet. Now, that doesn't stop the prices from going down. But at the same time, you know, let's say this exchange now says they wants to, you know, uh, they want to freeze trading. Then those people with money on that exchange won't be able to take their money out. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, Binance is backing out of his plans to acquire FTX. The company said Wednesday, leaving Sam Bankman fried crypto empire on the verge of collapse the reversal comes one day after binance ceo cz announced that the world's largest cryptocurrency firm had reached a non-binding deal to buy ftx non-us businesses for an undisclosed amount re uh, rescuing the company from a liquidity crisis earlier this year ftx was valued at 32 billion by private investors so in the beginning it says our hope was to be able to support ftx customers to provide liquidity binance said in a tweet on wednesday but the issues are beyond our control or ability to help so on monday night facing a liquidity crunch bankman fry was scrambling to raise money from venture capitalists and other investors before he went to binance according to sources with knowledge of the matter so uh cz initially agreed to step in but his company quickly changed course citing reports of mishandled customer funds and alleged u.s agency uh investigations sheesh and we also did just get note that uh the department of justice i believe 
is doing an investigation into FTX. So, you know, it's, it's definitely going to get a little uh, messy, it, it appears. So it's unclear who is next in line to buy the beleaguered crypto exchange. Bankman Fry told investors that the company is now facing a shortfall of up to $8 billion from withdrawal requests and needs emergency funding, according to Wall Street Journal. Y'all, don't trust these exchanges. Put, you know, I, this is not financial advice. Do whatever you want to do. You know, I do use some exchanges as well, but I'm definitely spread out. I'm a firm believer of not putting all your eggs in one basket just in case something like this happens. It doesn't cripple you. So uh, the disintegration of Binance FTX deal is the latest chapter in a shocking collapse that's rocked the crypto world this week. Bankman Fry tried to reassure investors just on Monday that the company's assets were fine. See, they'll tell us anything. They'll tell us anything while something else completely is, uh, different is happening in the background. But after Binance's uh, CZ said publicly that his company was selling its holdings in FTX native token, the sell-off was on. And FTX could do nothing to stop it. Sheesh. So one of Silicon Valley's most prominent VC firms, Sequoia Capital, sank $210 million into the company. According to reporter Eric Newcomer, FTX was telling investors recently that it was that its net income in 2022 was projected to drop at 144 million this year, down from 338 million in 2021. While revenue was projected to rise to 1.1 billion from 1 billion last year, newcomer uh, reports Bankman Fry said on Tuesday that customers had demanded withdrawals to the tune of six billion dollars. And if uh, y'all been following the channel, y'all remember uh, maybe two days back we seen the tenth largest withdrawal you know day in crypto in history so you know that's showing that a lot of liquidity a lot of money is coming out of the markets even if we take a look at the overall crypto market cap it's blatant right there we've been tracking that number i've been making it more you know apparent or something to y'all uh trying to point it out more to y'all so that way y'all can follow that number and really pay attention to how much money is flowing in and out of the markets so uh CZ told Binance employee, employees in a memo earlier on Wednesday that he did not master plan the collapse of FTX. He said FTX going down is not good for anyone in the industry and employees should not view it as a win for us. He also told them not to trade FTT tokens while this ordeal unfolds. If you have a bag, you have a bag, he wrote. Do not buy or sell. FTT had already lost 80% of its value between Monday and Tuesday, falling to, uh, falling to $5 and wiping out more than $2 billion in a day. It fell by more than half on Wednesday to around 230, shrinking the total value of circulating tokens to roughly $308 million. Cryptocurrencies have plummeted amid the deal, uh, the deal turmoil, with Bitcoin falling 15%. Because, you know, basically everybody's expecting this is going to be bad for, you know, crypto in general. So uh, on Wednesday, after a 13% drop on Tuesday, it's trading below 16,000 for the first time since November 2020, y'all. Two year lows sheesh that's an absolute steal this is for those who basically missed out on the last two years or you know not being in crypto before 2020 or around that time now you get a chance basically to essentially buy at those prices again we know bitcoin is a very valuable asset you know the price most likely is going to go up connect the dots you know uh i believe it will you know but do your own uh due diligence so, you know, why not take advantage of this? You know, it's the equivalent of if you were going to buy a house, you know, that was, let's say, a uh, half a million dollar house, uh, you know, and they told you the price now all of a sudden was 200000 Why wouldn't you buy it? You know, it's like, you know, if you were going to buy it at a higher price, why not take advantage of that dip? So uh, this is how you should look at crypto assets. But a lot of people, for some reason, they're afraid of red prices they see the candlesticks fall and they see the price or the uh negative you know 10 percent today and that strikes fear in them instead of them getting encouraged to take advantage of it now granted if you have been buying a dip uh, uh along the way you know it, it's continuing to pull back but this is why i tell y'all to keep some dry capital keep some dry powder to the side so that way you can be able to buy the dip remember i just told y'all as well you i like to be able to buy the dip at least three times you know uh with certain uh amounts that i'm ready to invest so if i'm looking to put in you know let's say uh 10k 20k here uh i'll make sure that i'm breaking it up i'm not going to just put it all in at one time so that way you know i can take advantage of the discounts if the price does pull back so uh today hopefully y'all were deploying some of that dry powder you know uh of course do it sparingly because markets can pull back further and you can even get a better discount but at the same time, we haven't seen these prices this low in two years. 
So uh, let's see. Here's the company's full statement. So we're going to go take this statement, then we're going to jump back and take a look at some prices real quick and then uh, talk a little uh, sheep. So here's the company's full statement. As a result of corporate due diligence, as well as the latest news reports regarding mishandled customer funds and alleged U.S. Uh, agency investigation, we have decided that we will not pursue the potential of acquisition of FTX.com. In the beginning, our hope was to be able to support FTX's customers to provide liquidity, but the issues are beyond our control or ability to help. Every time a major player in an industry fails, retail consumers will suffer. We have seen over the last several years that the crypto ecosystem is becoming more resilient, and we believe in the time that outliers that misuse user funds will be weeded out by the free market. As regulatory frameworks are developed and as the industry continues to evolve toward greater decentralization, the ecosystem will grow stronger. So I think that was a good statement right there. He exposed a lot right there, too. He basically just said they are absolutely not trustworthy. If they're misusing uh, customer funds, you know, why would you want to put your money over there? You know, so uh, it's definitely something you want to, you know, pay attention to if you're thinking about trading FTX. Now, a lot of people ask me, should we buy FTX right now with the price, you know, taking it, uh, you know, this dip that we're seeing? Now, I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you that, like I said yesterday, the price was down uh, around 75 percent. And I said it was likely to still pull back even further. Now we got the price down another 50 cents. So yesterday price was around $5.50 to $6, somewhere around in that range. If you would have bought there, then now the price is sitting at $2.40. You might be, well, you would be down 52%. You might be upset with that. And so this is why I tell y'all, if you plan on buying the dip, which especially with this token, I wouldn't look at it as anything more than a lottery play. If you're going to put anything, I wouldn't put anything significant into this project. When I say a lottery play, I mean literally like a dollar scratch off or a $5 scratch off, whatever, you know, your equivalent, your level. It could be, you know, uh, 50 to some people. It could be 500 to some people. But whatever your equivalent of a, like a scratcher is, that's uh, what you should be putting in this project if you want to, uh, you know, mess around with it. Now, if you're somebody who has a lot of experience in trading, you might be able to catch some of this volatility. But is it worth it? To me, not in this project right now. It's a little, it's a little shaky. Like in this area, you could have definitely caught some nice, easy trades. You know, back in here, you could see uh, corrections, the impulses, correction impulse. You know, so there's some areas to trade in here, but this is just too, too risky, too risky. So if you're gonna throw something at it, let it be something that you definitely would not mind missing, or unless you are. Uh, somebody who just really believes in this and that's the thing too i don't know too much about the ftx ecosystem so i'm not uh confident in the project but if you are somebody and you uh you know you've done your due diligence you think it's still uh solid outside of whatever you see in the news then that's on you you can you know look at this as a buying opportunity i wouldn't myself though volume down 65 percent the company's being investigated uh you know when those fundamentals change this is what i say it's good to still buy a project that hasn't fundamentally changed as long as the team is the same the fundamentals are the same and the community still supports it you should be fine in buying it on a discount this is fundamentally changed you know uh they're being investigated now they've been uh they're facing liquidity issues uh misusing funds um you know the list goes on so in that case things have changed enough and it's where if i was one of the investors i would not want to uh, continue investing into this so uh, let's go back Overall crypto market down 8.7% right now, sitting at $819 billion. We've been following this number over, you know, uh, you know, the last, you know, however the long the channel been, but over the last week or so, we've been seeing this number fluctuate from around 1.01 trillion to around that 1.07 trillion level. And now look how far we are, all the way down to this 819 billion. So you can see almost 200 billion dollars coming out of the markets you know that is absolutely wild and then you know uh also the market was down a lot further than this earlier you know it was i seen this number into that 700 and you know i think around 50 range so the markets are just you know slightly pulling back just a little bit because investors are going to take advantage of those dips everybody uh doesn't look at this like you know a bad thing some people are really really loading up on these levels and you know if we i'm if we can get remember a few months ago i told y'all it looked like we could possibly see 
a $13,000 Bitcoin. I know it sounded crazy. I even told y'all at the time when I was saying it, I said it sounded crazy, but it looked like we might be able to get that opportunity. Now, depending on how hard the market is hit tomorrow, maybe the market has priced everything in. Usually uh, with all the news rolling out, the market prices it in instantly. But let's say some more negative news or a negative catalyst is released tomorrow, then we can expect to see the markets pull back even further. And that might give us a chance to see that $13,000 Bitcoin. And at that level, you should be going bonkers. Now, not financial advice, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So uh, I'm already taking advantage at this level. I'll be buying every day around, you know, uh, these levels because I believe we won't see these prices for a while. But, uh, you know, you really want to think about the future when it comes to uh, what you're buying right now with Bitcoin. Remember, we seen Bitcoin touch 60,000. y'all. So buying them right now for 15, 16,000 a pop, that's nothing compared to what we know it will eventually go back to and higher. You know, one day you're going to wish that you would, have, you know, put as much as you can into this. And I mean, on a wise level, not just, you know, uh, risking or borrowing money to do it, but, you know, money that you can afford to put in there. Now, Bitcoin down 9.9 percent .9 for the day, sitting at 16,400 ETH down 10 percent. You should be snatching this one as well. 10 percent discount, 24 percent for the week, uh, down 11, down to 1170 uh, BNB back under uh 300 and this is one of the strongest ones right here so 281 dollars down 12 percent on a day i always tell you i love bnb uh just like ethereum and bitcoin uh let's see xrp 35 cent right now down 9.5 percent this is another one down 23 percent for the week you can take advantage of this if you know uh you build in a long-term position uh doge seven cent down six percent down 40 percent for the week you know we know that Elon Musk is going to continue building with Doge, you know, no matter what, eventually this will be back up. Uh, Matic sitting at 87 cent down 10 percent. Then we got uh, Polkadot down 9 percent, five dollars and fifty nine cent. And then skip straight to ooh, Solana down 34 percent right now. She's down 53 percent for the week hit heavy. And she sitting uh, back at that nine level. So you get a chance again to snag Shiba Inu for the nine level. I will be buying some more uh, as well. Uh, hopefully y'all got in at that eight level. We haven't seen that eight level uh, for a while. So I got some, uh, but I'm going to be, you know, looking at this closely, seeing if we get one of those candles that really, really wick down and give us a steal that, you know, we haven't, you know, uh, you know, really seen for a while. So let's go back real quick. So anywhere in this eight range, y'all, because some people have been buying at higher levels. If you want to bring your average cost down, continue to buy in these lower levels. Only what you can afford to lose. Don't put yourself in a tight situation. And remember, leave some dry powder just in case the price pulls back further. You never want to just drop the whole bag on it. Little small buys are fine. You could put, you know, 500 or two, whatever your number is, 200. 500 a thousand you know whatever your number is you could break it up and put it in over time to load that bag up on these discounts y'all uh let's take a look also we got some good news for sheep as well where my tab go okay hold on so now sheep is now accepted in dubai you can now book the w hotel or it's, it's w it's a w uh it's one of the w hotels called the palm it's a five-star luxury hotel on uh travala with sheep and enjoy private beaches with views of the city skyline and the arabian gulf so let me let y'all take a look at this you know i think a lot of people are going to use this you know people like that utility of being able to pay for things in crypto so I think that's pretty cool, you know, uh, getting she more worldwide recognition, you know, uh, the people obviously of this establishment have to know what she are. So, you know, uh, or has, has to know what she is. So now if these individuals know what she is, most likely they're going to tell other people about it as well. So, you know, we just continue to spread awareness. But uh, that's all we really got, man. I just wanted to update y'all on what's going on in the markets. You know, I know that was a lot for this video, but, you know, it's a lot going on right now. So uh, it's best to be in, as informed as possible. 
you know, and basically just understand how to play, you know, the markets right now. So that way you don't get shaken out of your spot. But that's all we got. I'm December DeMarco. Appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are out.